hello everyone welcome back again to my channel so this is same uh, series of dotnet my and we already done you know the list as well as the navigation part also we done and once navigation you will see that detail page of implementation also we have covered so in this session what we learn like see this is uh, getting from in memory list okay in this our application but how we'll consume our api and get those list from our application so that we'll learn in this in this session so let's get started so uh, before proceeding this video so definitely i i, I recommend uh, if you don't know about that how we can create a my application how we can create the list binding so check out you know check out my youtube channel and also i'll share this in this video description all the uh, previous series so before proceeding i recommend proceed this one okay so let's get started to implementation so what need to do first go to our service okay in this service what we have implementation we just implement you know that in memory uh, in memory list so this is getting all the list from the in memory okay so we'll get we'll remove all of stuff from here in memory we'll directly call our api and that api uh, give us the all the informations and the list of the blocks and that will bind over here okay so that is important because in real scenario we not using actually in memory so this is for demo purpose starting so that's why i'm using okay so let's remove everything from here okay okay so remove first this list and also we don't require this one so remove this guy also remove this also remove this okay so this is done now what need to do we have to you know inject our http client actually we have to call our api that API you know talked with the over the HTTP client. So how we can do that? So just bring that HTTP client over the constructor and then initiate the variable and the initialize of that here. Okay, so this is done. So the our HTTP client is done. Then we are we are successfully actually set up to HTTP client. And also one more things actually we have to do because only when you using the HTTP client this is actually dependency of this service so we have to resolve this HTTP client in our my application that also I will I will I will cover in this session so don't worry about that okay so once it's complete okay then what need to do we have to uh, we have to call actually we have to call uh, we have to call actually that uh, our api so how we can do that simply what need to do uh, just call first like http response so http so instead of writing up code i think i can copy that code and then i'll explain everything so first copy this one okay so see i'll create an object okay uh, I create a, a I create an HTTP response message in a class, and then what can what we are doing? We actually call our HTTP client, and this HTTP client has a many method. Okay, okay. So if you go to here, if you new, so that's why I'm explaining. But yeah, if here you can get delete, post everything. It means that HTTP client provide all the method actually to achieve your uh, call and you know manipulate your data okay so this is a get call so in this scenario we record get call so what get call expecting get call expecting actually see the get call there's a any overload method so they required request uri so we'll have to pass request uri we have to pass cancel tokens so on so but yeah i think we have to just pass if in this our scenario is very simple scenario so if they pass on the uri so that is sufficient so how we'll get that uri just pass over here 
string URI API URI just call to this guy okay this is sufficient okay once this will call it will get back to the response over the HTTP response message and then we have to check like if that response is uh, you know there's a some response uh, HTTP response class have some property like they make sure like okay response is success fail everything you know there's a many properties so let me show you one by one see there's a response header contain many things okay so whatever response we getting back we also read from this content as well so as of now we don't uh, as of now just we have to first make sure like okay our call has success or not so this will make sure of this property and then what need to do we have to first make sure okay yeah the success then we will get those content okay so there is a another property like content in this content we are uh, we have an uh, all the data whatever is responding our api so how we can retrieve that one so just make a string create a string variable and response contain content and then what need to do see it is automatically provide the information so it's a code of visual studio 2022 this is a great you know new features coming in this visual 2022 yes yeah, so see that response whatever response we get dot contain and then read as a string async so whatever contain as a whatever we get the content we'll read as a, from as a string as a extension method and store over here then what need to do we just you know uh, convert it to our uh, our object so what is our object in previously we send okay so see this is our object we want okay in block innumerable of the list of block okay so how we can do that just convert json dot deserialization json convert json convert i think yeah so bring the namespace of new yeah you also you know install this uh package new new newton of json okay because this this property this property json convert you know applicable on this package okay so you have to install like right directly over here or also like you can right click and go to i you know that new get package and just you can write that you can just find and just install it okay so i am just doing that directly uh, because this is a basic thing so yeah and here's the one more here the method need to call Deserialize object, okay. Just pass the deserialize object here. See, there's a you know generic generic math type. We need to pass a generic type so that whatever entity we pass, so they will actually convert it to deserialize and give it give us to us, okay. So we want to return i numerable of the list, okay. So just pass over it to here okay that done okay. and simply you can just return over here that's it okay this is done just formatting okay this is done and once if it is fails so what need to do just you can write some log or something something but here just i am writing in here as a console but in real scenario we can write in a log or something else okay Okay, so this is done and finally return. Okay, return null. Okay, so if if it is not success, so definitely always will returning null. Okay. And also we can inside we can do in the inside of try catch so that any exception of while calling so we can catch on the on the try catch as well. So that is a very common thing. So I'm not going to that. Okay, so this is done. We are missing something. Okay, yeah be missing something that's why it's complaining so just make sure and also if you go to here yes we actually we have to pass this thing so let me pass to a uh, string a string api uri api uri 
okay so that is done now that is done now what is the error now let me check implementation okay so as of now we can do that okay as of now leave it this guy okay so leave that guy just create and you know, just throw the exception as of now because we we will implement in uh, later just we'll show first that you know get all list then we'll move it to you know get to get get list by id okay so in this session will not going to long that's why you know i just create i i just i just showing this here on just how we can consume the service okay so this is done and now go to this is a uh, service done now go to your view model and uh, go to main view model okay and here simply what need to do see this is our that service nothing we have to do just call our method we have to pass api url that's it we will get and bind our data okay so how we can do that just where is our data means where is our api so this is our api okay so what i will do i will copy our api okay and uh, pass it to over here like as a string api uri okay and then it's pass and what is our endpoint our endpoint is api slash block if you want to make sure so see this is our endpoint and this is our end api and this is our endpoint actually so this is our domain but endpoint is api block okay so as of now execute it should be some data yes this is a one data so let me pass it to over here okay yes that done so this is done for the implementation okay okay let me run what is the issue we'll see is there any issue if is there then we'll definitely fix because i am expecting i'm expecting one issue okay so let me run see there is some issue like http client okay that i am expecting because i am not resolving that one okay so how we can do that so let me resolve that one so you have to go that your myuprogram.cs file and here we have to resolve that one okay so how we can do that let me add some comments like okay resolve Resolve, resolve HTTP client. Okay, so builder, builder dot services dot at singleton at singleton, and then we have to call HTTP client. Okay, so this need to be done this when you add a singleton definitely it will register your you know in your application so it's not keeping that error once again i hope so finally see there's a one result okay which we saw so this one like test one so that's why it's showing as a test okay so that means everything whatever we done we consume a service and that's successfully we get that result okay we want to make sure like how we can we can get that data like real data means 
how we can do that we can just add some data so that we can make sure okay whatever data that is coming properly okay so what we can do we can just uh, okay we can add some you know original data in our api so that we can get in our application okay so let me get some data here we'll get the data okay here's the data okay so first data is see the name is c sharp let me add c sharp description could be something okay something is a description of the name is Karthik okay an image URL is this okay so let me add this one and same just copy from here okay just execute this one okay this is done this is there and one more I'll, I'll i'll i want to add actually one more so let me add one more data so add one more blog actually so let me add this one add some some disc description okay and that image okay so that we can see in our dot net my UV. it is showing properly okay so let me see it is inserting 201 is there also make sure our api returning that data or not so it should be three three blog in previously it was one c 17 18 19 okay so let me open once a time and then refresh our application it should be get also i'll de i'll show you debugging and those data will how we can populate this data via debugging mode as well so that i'll show you okay see already debugger point is there so i'm not okay see refresh on refresh uh, command actually when i refresh so this command will hit and see this is a load async if you go to load async so this is that load async okay so when you go to load async in this load async see that call our api it means yeah our service that service call in the api so let me debugger point over here continue continue see here then finally it is calling http client object and definitely we'll get some response see already done because we are not continue i i did continue i should put at the back point but see data is over there from whatever api is containing okay so that is done i think for for enough for this okay so it is very simple actually so just let me recap okay what we have done nothing we have to do we just you know inject our http client okay and based on the injecting and this http client actually provides a many method you know uh, many actually operation like get post delete everything so based on this i just call the get and pass the uri based on the uri I make sure like uh, it is success or not if it is success so then i just read that content and just deserialize the content that's it simply and one last thing we have to done we just you know register our http client in our dot net myu myu program dot css that's it okay so that is done uh, so and also yeah the next session will come with you know like how we can add the data via this you know via our real api okay while add edit delete everything will implement implement in this series so keep watching thank you have a nice day